my last one. Hello. Hello, hello. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Spark Mania podcast. This is our reaction video to Royal Rumble 2018. We just finished watching it. It was fun. It was exciting. We had a great time. So this is just going to be a quick take, a uh, quick reaction to what we just saw later in the week. We'll do a full-on review of the event, but we'll just go ahead and do a quick take here on what happened and what, uh, what we thought real quick. Okay, first up, what we had in the Royal Rumble 2018, we had a WWE Championship match between Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens in a handicap vers uh, match versus AJ Styles, where AJ Styles ended up winning in the end. What did you think of that match overall, Mama? I was happy that AJ Styles won. Yeah, me too. I was glad AJ Styles won. I didn't really want to see uh, a co-championship between Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. I just don't like the whole idea of a co-championship for the main title. Overall, maybe they can do that with one of their smaller titles or something, but not for the main title. Um, so I'm happy with that outcome and glad for that storyline to be over. Next up came after that was the Tag Team Championship. Uh, this was between Chad Gable and um, uh, Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin versus the Usos, Jimmy and Jay Uso. It was a best two out of three falls count and the Usos won this match um, in the first two pins. It didn't even go to three. The, Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin didn't even get one pinfall throughout uh, that match. What did you think of this one? I thought that one went by really fast. Well, the beginning it was, it was, it took forever for them to get a first pin, but I figured that the second one would come by really fast. And um, yeah, yeah, I thought it was good. Yeah. Yeah, you were right about that. Um, yeah, it took for a, a long time for the first pinfall to come, but like you said, the second pinfall came pretty quick after that and the Usos got both pinfalls they didn't even have to go to a third round so that was pretty good there again I'm a big fan of the Usos they did a good in-ring performance and uh, I, I really like what they're doing I hope it keeps going and then next up after that we had the men's rumble um, I'll just quickly go through in order uh, who we had in the men's Royal rumble first we had Rusev then Finn Balor came out then Rhino Baron Corbin Heath Slater then Elias then Cian Almas, uh, Bray Wyatt, Big E, Sami Zayn came out at 10. It was supposed to be Ty Dillinger, but they attacked him and he was out. Um, then Sheamus came in at 11, Xavier Woods at 12, Apollo Crews, Shinsuke Nakamura, Cesaro, Kofi Kingston, Jinder Mahal, Seth Rollins, Matt Hardy, John Cena, The Hurricane came in, Aiden English, Adam Cole, Randy Orton, Titus O'Neil, The Miz, Rey Mysterio, uh, Roman Reigns, Goldust, and then Dolph Ziggler. And at the end, Shinsuke Nakamura was the winner, and he chooses to go against AJ Styles at WrestleMania for the WWE Championship. What did you think of this one overall, Mom? Well, at first I thought Balor was going to get it, but I'm actually happy that Nakamura got it. Yeah, there for a while, too. I thought Balor was going to get it. Uh, he was in there for such a long time, right from the beginning, entering at number two and lasting all the way up till the final four. Uh, so I thought he, there was a good chance he was going to get it. Um, but I'm really glad that Shinsuke Nakamura got to uh, get the win. We've been waiting for Shinsuke Nakamura and AJ Styles to have a match for a long time, and now it's finally going to happen with that win there. So I am excited about that. Next up, after that... Uh, we had Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan go against Cesaro and Sheamus in a tag team championship match. Uh, in the end, Sheamus and Cesaro won this. For me, um, it was an okay match. I'm just glad that Cesaro and Sheamus won and took the mm -hmm. tag team championship because I'm tired of Seth Rollins and just Jason Jordan being teamed up together. I wasn't a big fan of that. What about you, Mom? You know what? For the last two of the guys' matches, I was busy doing something else, so I'm not exactly sure what was going on. That's true, you were busy. Okay, and then um, after that, then uh, the Universal Championship was between Braun Strowman, Brock Lesnar, and Kane. In the end, Brock Lesnar won, retaining the Universal Championship. What did you think of that? Um, what happened? Uh, so Brock Lesnar won between the Triple Threat with Brock, uh, Braun Strowman, Brock Lesnar, and Kane. Okay. So what do, you, what do you think of that outcome? Just cool? I'm cool with that. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm cool with that too. I really thought Braun Strowman was going to be the winner, uh, but in the end, Brock Lesnar won and kept it. So that, um, that was that was that, and uh, you know, it was it was a good match. A lot of a lot of chaos in that match. A lot of broken chairs and tables and all kinds of you know chaos. Okay, and then finally, last but not least, the most exciting part of this to me was the first ever women's Royal Rumble match. Woot woot. Hey, woot woot, exactly. Um, again, we'll just go quickly over the order here. First, we had Sasha Banks starting, then Becky Lynch came in, Sarah Logan, Mandy Rose, Lita made a comeback, uh, Carrie Sane, Tamina, Dana Brooks, uh, Ray Wilson, that. Sonya Deville, Liv Morgan, Molly Holly, uh, Lana, Michelle McCool, Ruby Riot, Vicky Guerrero, Carmella, Natalia, Kelly Kelly, Naomi, Jacqueline, Nia Jax, uh, Ember Moon, Beth Phoenix, Asuka, Mickey James, Nikki Bella, Brie Bella, Bailey, and Trish Stratus. What did you think of the first ever Women's Royal Rumble? I thought it was exciting. Their energy was amazing and for first watching wrestling especially the royal rumbles i think it was pretty good i think they did a good job you're you uh you're happy with your first royal rumble viewing i am excellent yeah i thought this was a great match the women's royal rumble oh man they it lived up to the hype Every single woman wrestler did a great job performing tonight. Every single woman wrestler got time to shine. Nobody got a quick exit. Everybody had a great moment inside the ring during the performance, which they all well deserved. A great match overall. In the end, Asuka ended up winning this match, um, which I was excited to see. Yeah, I'm happy about that too. Uh, I really like Asuka, I like her physicality, so I'm excited to see her go to WrestleMania. Um, Unfortunately, we don't know who they didn't announce who she's going to be going against, um, uh, whether it's going to be Charlotte or Alexa Bliss, because uh, we had another big woman's moment uh, happen right at the end of that. Uh, it's been rumored for the longest time that Ronda Rousey was going to join the WWE, and then it's been a rumor recently that she would make her debut at uh, Royal Rumble, which she did. She did not get in the match. Um, like some rumors thought she might, uh, but she still did make her uh, debut at Royal Rumble. She came out, she was doing her little pose, and it looked like she'd been practicing for a while, pointing to the WrestleMania sign. Yep, I saw that. Yeah, and it looks like she's going to be at WrestleMania, so that will be really exciting to see Ronda Rousey come to the WWE, bring all that physicality and charisma that she had when she was in mixed martial arts, fighting for the UFC. She was my favorite woman uh, uh, fighter over in MMA. So it'll be exciting to have her, um, you know, in the WWE. I think, like you said, while we were watching the match, you liked her smile. She had a great smile. She, she seemed does. like, yeah, she seemed like she's going to have a really good charisma, you know, yeah. and she's going to fit right into the WWE. So I'm excited for that. Uh, yeah, so it was a really big night for the Royal Rumble. Uh, overall, big night for the women's division uh, going on what they have right now and going in the future. So. Uh, I can't wait to see more. I can't wait to see, you know, the women, uh, you know, have a main event at WrestleMania. I think it's going to be exciting. And overall, guys, this Royal Rumble, just for the fact of the woman Royal Rumble alone, if you even put everything else aside, I give this show a five-star rating. If you ask me, it was a great show overall. What would you say, Mom? It's, uh, since you're new to wrestling, normally, you know, matches or shows overall together are rated on a five-star system, usually is what you know, you would rate a show, what would you give this one? I would give it five stars. Five stars all the way. All right, guys, thanks a lot. That was our quick take, instant take, quick reaction to Royal Rumble 2018. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, if you get a chance, uh, if you didn't see it, go watch it. Uh, if you did watch it, let us know what you thought. Um, you know, give us a, com uh, a comment. If you're listening to the podcast, uh, you know, give us a comment in the podcast, go ahead and, you know, subscribe, leave a, leave a rating in there as well, and, uh, you know, check us out on Twitter, email, Instagram, mm, that's good stuff, 
That's MMM. That's good stuff to check us out on all those places. Alrighty, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye. See? Short. Short and sweet. Mmm. That's good stuff.